Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. Hope everyone is having a great weekend. Today is June 21st, 2020. This is part one of the Precious Metals Review. We will go in, in this video, we'll go through the various ETFs uh, from a daily perspective. And in part two, we'll dive into about 30 names of the top performing as well as uh, the most attractive setups in the sector that I see. Obviously, that list will not be all inclusive, but certainly will give you a uh, leg up in, in your investments. So let's dive in. All right, so starting with the GLD daily chart. And you see here we've been consolidating basically through middle of April till uh, through now. And it looks to me like we're very, very close to an upside breakout here. Uh, that breakout level is around 165 and we close the day at 164.03. So it hasn't happened yet. But if you kind of draw this line right now, um, it's very close to an upside breakout. And the 61.9 level will be critical to cross to the upside. But we're watching this level and we shall see what happens. Notice the MACDs closed the day on Friday above above the zero line. So that's a very important indicator. And all signs point to an upside breakout when you look at it from uh, various different uh, time frames. GDX, another Another look at the, the sector, you kind of see this uh, bullish flag right now that we are in above the neckline breakout above 31. Never did break below this level. And even though it broke below the 50 RSI level, it immediately began consolidating with positive divergence. Even as we were making lower lows, uh, momentum was not making the lower lows. So now close the week up. Uh, the day on Friday above the 50 RSI level. And to me, this is setting up for an upside, upside, very strong upside move in the coming weeks and months ahead. Here's another look at it. One of our favorite ETFs is the GOAU. Uh, this, this one here, again, you kind of see the same type of look. Uh, bullish flag breakout right here took place on Friday, uh, closed very nicely above the 50 RSI level. And to me, this is headed towards that 21 level very soon, which is a nice percentage gain, but eventually likely much higher than that. Stop loss below would be 18. So in case that, that view is invalidated, that would be the area that I would, uh, certainly if you have a short-term uh, trade on, um, that, that would be the area I would either trim my position or uh, exit the trade. Here are the Gold Juniors, GDXJ. Um, again, you see the same same setup. Uh, you've got this uh, bullish triangle here uh, above the neckline around 43. So every time we hit that 43 level, a lot of support comes in. There's a lot of demand there. It looks to me now you've got uh, the rising five and 10 day moving averages uh, curling to the upside. And uh, this looks ready to go. Uh, first target would be that 50 level and then eventually much higher than that and we'll dive into those on a weekly review that we'll have have uh most likely next next weekend slv daily um, so the silver uh, also very nicely consolidated but never broke below the 50 rsi level it tried doing it here but it bounced very quickly thereafter and and now it's setting up for an upside breakout we need we need to see uh, still a break on the SLV above 1725, but just based on the setup and uh, given the eye test, it looks like it's going to happen in the near future. The MACDs have hit a kind of low, and now they're likely curling to the upside now, which should give it enough momentum to to break to the upside. SIL the majors um, here again. The actually silver uh, juniors um, or silver mining stocks were. Hit pretty pretty hard over the last couple of weeks. I, I saw some days where they were down you know, anywhere between seven and ten percent. But the rally from the lows from sixteen to thirty eight uh, was quite quite big. And so you needed you needed uh, new new investors to step in, and some of the people who wanted to get out needed to get out, and that's very healthy. Back below the fifty RSI level, and now uh, again closed above the fifty RSI level. So to me, this is headed towards thirty eight which is a very nice percentage gain, especially if you're playing options. But thereafter, above 38, I think you're going to see another leg higher. And the SIL, uh, SILJ, the juniors, um, also, again, this level here, 975 is a very critical support. It served as resistance multiple times. And so, so long as that level holds, I think that we'll be breaking to the upside 
very, very soon. This was a pullback that was necessary. You kind of had a head and shoulders on the daily chart. And as you were making new highs, momentum was not following suit. So you needed to pull back and pull back it did. And now I think it's setting up for the rocket ship higher. So we're going to start with Victoria Gold, but that will be only available to premium subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for all your support. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.